today we're going to remove the driver's seat on a 2007 Chevy Silverado. Alright, the tools that you're going to be needing is going to be a fly head, two sockets, a 916, and a 716 and a 10 millimeter to disconnect the battery terminal. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery terminal. All right, so we'll use our 10 millimeter socket or wrench. I don't have a socket. These 10 millimeters always get lost. Uh, so we'll go ahead and loosen that up and simply pull off the terminal. <laughs> I might need both hands real quick. All right, once you have the terminal disconnected, just go ahead and just push it to the side. Make sure it does not make contact with the negative terminal post, I guess, yeah. All right, the next step we're gonna do is remove these little covers. We're gonna use a flat head. Pry those open here and here. Uh, you might have to lift up the seat to get more access to this back one so it could slip off. All right, on this back one, is going to be using the 716s, and we'll just throw that right there. And then this one is gonna be using the 916s. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and break these loose. And this inside, you just pull this cover up and out, and here it comes out, it has a little locking pin that goes right on the thread of that. And we'll go ahead and break these loose as well. And we'll just go ahead and drive them out. And if you have power tools, my make it easy. Just like so. All right, next we'll get this one out. This is not an impact swivel, so that's why it keeps coming off. <laughs> um, it's okay, it does the job. All right, now we're gonna remove this one here. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and break it loose first. There it is. Should be more than enough to drive that out now, hopefully. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And if you want, you could also gain a little bit of more access by removing this panel and probably using an extension to get to it. Let's see if it works out for us. Let me see, oh, perfect. Uh, no, it's a little in the way. Uh, it's not gonna work out for us like that. Okay. There it is. Not all right, I might just have to use the hand tools for this one, or probably not. Uh, it looks like this pops off a little bit, so it gives you more leverage. And there we are, sweet. All right, <laughs> look, it keeps falling apart. Ha <laughs> ha that's funny, stupid swivel. That's why it's not meant for power tools. They are special ones for impacts. This one's not for the impact. All right, now that we have this one off and these two front nuts off here and here, we have one more we gotta remove and it's in the rear. All right, we're gonna move the seat forward. Oh, disconnect the battery. All right, so go ahead and just set the terminal on the top. Let's move the chair and we're just gonna remove that terminal off once more time. So let's go ahead and move that chair forward. I was wondering why I wasn't going forward. Jeez, stupid chair. <laughs> oh dang, look, it looks like you have clearance if you move it forward too. <laughs> well, you could do that. <laughs> Whoops. I like to show extra steps. That's why my videos are super long. So let's go ahead and just connect that negative terminal now. Right, set that to the side. Come 
into the back. Remove this plastic cover. And it looks like it has one of those uh, locking screws that sits right on the bolt. So just pull up, there it is. All right, and it looks gonna be the 9 sixteenths. Or I'm sorry, 7 sixteenths. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and break it loose with the hand tools. There it is. And finish driving it off with the power tools. All right, seat's nice and loose now. So we'll go ahead and disconnect these pigtails. Here's the first one. Come over to the front. Take my tools off the seat. Push the seat backwards. Oh, and it looks like a uh, that's the only connection it has, sweet. So that's how you remove the seat. Let's go ahead and take it off of there. I might need both hands. Sweet, there it is. And that's how you remove a driver's seat on a 2007 Chevy Silverado. Uh, the seat belt is still latched to it. To, so to fully remove the seat, let's pop open this latch here. The same one that we popped open earlier. Jesus, might need a flathead. There it is. Remove that screw there, and off comes the seatbelt. Then your chair is completely loose. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that bell. All right, let's get out of here before we get kicked out. Thank you.